news. Matter, matter everywhere. Um, some of this should be review. Uh, some of it will be new. We're getting a little bit deeper into matter. Big thing is, most everything around us is made up of matter. Uh, desks, tables, chairs, you, pretty much a lot of stuff that's around us. Not everything, and we'll talk about what not matter here in a little bit. Okay? So our matter notes. There's three main concepts that we're going to cover. We're going to tackle each concept in its own separate uh, note set so it doesn't overwhelm you. Um, but I'll go ahead and show you the three concepts first, and then we'll tackle the first concept in this particular note set. Uh, first concept is matter has a mass and a volume. Basically, matter is made up of stuff, and we measure that with mass, and matter takes up space. Uh, so, and it has a volume. Okay, so matter is anything that's made up of stuff, has a mass, and takes up space. Matter is made up of atoms. The atom is the basic building block of matter. Okay, you need to keep that straight. Atom, basic building block of matter. Because later on, we'll start talking about cells. And cells are the basic building block of life. But for right now, atom, building block of matter. All matter is made up of atoms. Matter can be pure or mixed. So basically you ask yourself, can I separate it or not? If I can separate it, then it's a mixture. If I can't separate it, then it's pure, a pure substance. Uh, light and sound are types of energy and are not considered to be matter. Okay, so energy is not matter. Light and sound, not matter. Heat is also not matter. Okay? Uh, so, like I said, we have three concepts. This note set's going to focus on the first concept, that matter has mass and volume. Uh, this is the note set that you got for it, um, and you put in your, in your um, mission journals. It's just a simple tree. It starts with matter has a volume and a mass, and it kind of reviews volume and mass. We've talked about these two concepts before, uh, so I would strongly suggest reviewing over... Uh, the mass videos and the displacement video, um, just to you know jog the memory. It's been a while. So volume measures the amount of space an object takes up, and there's two methods to measure volume: length times width times height, and displacement. And mass is just a measure of matter. It measures how much stuff is there, how much stuff is making up that particular piece of matter. Okay, uh, so matter has mass and volume. Again, this is just kind of a quick review. Mass we can measure with triple beam balance or a digital scale, and the units for mass are in grams. Okay, volume, again, we have the two methods, length times width times height, which is for regular shaped objects, boxes, dice, cubes, things of that nature. And then displacement, which again uses the graduated cylinder, if we remember, and the units for this method are uh, milliliters. The units for the previous method, length times width times height, are centimeters cubed. Okay. Uh, sticking with the same concept, matter has mass and volume. Here's some volume review over the two methods. The first length times width times height. So a box has a length of 4 centimeters, a height of 2 centimeters, and a width of 5 centimeters. What's the volume of the box? Okay, here's your formula. Volume is equal to length times width times height. So I'll give you a second to figure it out. Here's our second step. Plug in our numbers. Volume is equal to 4 centimeters times 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters. 4 times 5 is 20, so 20 centimeters times 2. Our volume is equal to 40 centimeters cubed. Okay, do not forget that 3. OK, 
Okay. Displacement review. Again, we have the two uh, graduated cylinders. One is empty, so we read the, the volume of the empty cylinder, or just the one that just has the water. There's no object in it. So we read it before, and you get 14 milliliters. Then we add our star, and the water level rises. We read our volume after, and we get 18 milliliters. Now we need the volume of the star. The volume of the star is going to be the difference between the two. So it's 18 milliliters minus that 14 milliliters, and it gives us the 4. Again, you can watch the video on displacement as a review. It's a pretty good little video. It will be a pretty good little review um, as to how displacement works. Okay. Now, for extra practice, there are these problems here. I don't go through them, so take some time. Uh, pause the video. There's nothing after this side, so you can just stop the video here, read each problem, calculate the volume in each one. There's two that use length times width times height. There's two uh, that use displacement. Okay. Uh, don't forget that a cube has all the sides have the same length. So when it says a cube measures 2 centimeters on each side, that means its length, width, and height are all 2 centimeters. <clears throat> okay? So do the practice problems. You can come bring them to me so I can check them, make sure you've got them all right, because volume will not go away. We'll keep seeing volume throughout the year, so it's very important that you, you keep uh, your skill with volume. All right? So that's the end of our first concept of matter, that matter has mass and volume. Uh, stay tuned for the second part of our matter notes in which, in, uh, which we'll talk about uh, matter being made up of atoms. And we'll go into the parts of the atom and uh, a couple of other neat things. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you later.